Senator Harry Reid's pet project is back on the congressional agenda. The DREAM Act proposes giving legal status to undocumented youth who entered the U.S. as children. But if this passes, will it open the door to and all sorts of illegal immigrants? William Z is the president of the Americans for Legal Immigration PAC. He joins us live today from Raleigh. Good morning to you, William. Good morning. Glad to be back with you. Okay. Now, as I understand, we have talked a little bit about uh, the DREAM Act in the past, how uh, students could uh, become legal citizens. But in reading the materials today, I didn't realize that uh, not only would the students be able to become legal citizens, but then they can have their siblings come in, their parents. You are talking about tens of millions of Americans if this thing passes, or uh, illegals in the country, it's Americans. The, the DREAM Act amnesty, or the Nightmare Act amnesty, is a political teddy bear with a hand grenade in it. If these illegal aliens, millions of them, are turned into uh, citizens, what it's going to do, it's going to displace and replace millions of innocent American college students. It's going to displace and replace millions, perhaps tens of millions, of American workers. It's going to displace and replace to eventually, as you said, tens of millions of American voters. Mm -hmm. If the DREAM Act amnesty passes, they're, they're on the same format to try to pass it as they did the health care bill about a year ago over the Christmas holiday. You can count on uh, the Tea Party movement being nullified, uh, the political influence of most of the Fox Network uh, viewers uh, being replaced and displaced and replaced or any of the millions of Americans like me that favor the enforcement of our existing immigration and border laws instead of any form of amnesty, all of us are going to be displaced and replaced. So one of the things you hint at, William, is that this is all because of politics. You would allege that Democrats want to get more voters on their side, so that's why they'd be in favor of this. However, 44 members of Congress are not coming back after January. So they are sitting there right now, and, and you're thinking that they will still have the gall to go against the will of their voters and vote for this? Oh, you, you've got it right. Uh, 44 of the incumbents leaving office, that, and many of which were tossed out, uh, supported this form of amnesty. They're still in up there, and they've been replaced. Uh, no new amnesty supporters were elected, uh, and most of them are being replaced by people like me that oppose any form of amnesty. They're trying to punch holes in the bottom of the boat on their way out the door, and if they succeed, you can kiss the borders of the United States goodbye. We have to get Americans to understand the threat is very real, and illegal aliens and their supporters are calling the U.S. Senate today, calling the U.S. Congress, uh, playing the, um, you know, all these poor innocent students, please give us what we mm -hmm. want uh, routine. If Americans okay. do not mobilize immediately, they're going to lose the country. Okay, and you want people to call their uh, people up on Capitol Hill. Uh, William Gee, thank you very much for joining us live today from Raleigh. Thank you. You bet. PBN for news that affects America. Join us on our live show at pushbacknow.com.